Hello, buzzagals! Welcome back to Beltless Factorio! I am Hotsusti, and somehow I managed to get the uh, uh, blue, uh, blue, green circuit production to uh, somewhat work. I'm not quite sure what I did. I mean, one thing I parked to train did we just had uh, uh, too much of. Uh, eventually we will use them again. But I figured that uh, we should have about as many trains as we have stations and these double stations should count as, as one station. And another thing that I did is we had here uh, these uh, iron smelter, these trains, they had no destination, uh, so I also sent them here for uh, metal gears. Uh, and that basically solved the issue where trains were trying to go to stations where a train was already sitting. Because now you can see, for example, here we have uh, one slot for uh, uh, copper open. Um, we don't have one for uh, for uh, we don't have one for uh, for metal open. Uh, but they would. This one would go to the copper wire loading first anyway. However, one issue that is plaguing this space is uh, when looking at the, at the production. Uh, the production is limited by the number of uh, basically raw resources we can get through. And the bottleneck there is actually the mining. Because if we look uh, on here, we can see we don't have any ores. Same here, no train. Actually, we do have two smelter array, but only one train that delivers uh, uh, ore. So. I think we should there also have the, the same setup um, having for as, as many smelters as many uh, ore trains. So that's probably the first thing I will tackle today. We go back here to our copper field and the train loading that's basically limited by the uh, speed of the inserters and as we are using long-handed inserters there it does not make sense to uh, uh, switch out the other ones with stack inserters but maybe we can come up with a setup that actually does not need a long-handed insert to see because all the rest uh, that's uh, normal inserters and then we could also have stack inserters because here you see these chests are actually full and it's just a matter of time to uh, process to hand over all the ore to the front so I'm thinking moving this water line down a bit and then have another ore loading station here at the bottom and uh, maybe come up with a more efficient design. We will see. This setup works way better. We have all short inserters here for the uh, for the uh, train and speaking of which I 
queued the stack inserters because uh, once we have that we could replace uh, all the inserters here and that would speed up the loading process of the train which currently is a bit of a bottleneck but as you can see we have basically here these lines of uh, miners uh, horizontally um, uh, all at the same level and uh, that allows us nice passing through of the ores we occasionally need uh, large poles so that we can power all the inserters um, of course with the additional miners we need more power maybe i should add another uh, uh, turbine there uh, but I think now it's time to add a second train for copper and then do the same thing for iron having a second set up because we also have two iron smelteries. So let me quickly do that and then hopefully we can really see uh, that this makes a difference in in our base looking at uh, at the production now um, basically we know the the ore production will go up I mean we can already see copper is way above uh, iron ore but what we actually want to see is higher number here on uh, higher product levels um, so basically here for for smelting uh, and so on but also i think uh, the electric circuit that's the that's the the highest that we are producing but currently we are also consuming uh, that amount for our uh, uh, logistics science packs so actually those are all built up here and not down there so let's tweak a few things and then have another look we can see some progress here we have now two trains uh, unloading uh, stock back to back and we're getting quite a bit of green circuits the research has finished so let's check uh, how our numbers look yeah we are at uh, 53 55 um and basically this is yep there we see that's when the uh, research stopped and um it's about three minutes ago and there we see uh, that really uh, uh skyrocket there so we are at about 130 uh, electronic circuits per minute which is not that much uh, overall but it's way better than what we had before i also went ahead and uh, sent two iron trains on the side track because i figured it's not good to have one train per loading station but we should have one train per uh, unloading or, or uh, each station that requires a resource gets a train uh, because otherwise we might uh, have uh, the situation where we cannot build any green circuits that require iron because all our four stations are stock full uh, because uh, for example we are not needing 
uh, enough iron over here. So I think uh, what I will do now is also redesign our gear production. We can have another one up here and then basically decommission that one. And well, that does not bring us directly further ahead. It's an improvement. And if we look at what we need for the uh, green signs, it's transport belts and inserters. And there we also need iron gears for both of them. So having a better production here will help us in the next step. But I think I need to uh, set up the layout there a bit better and then we will have the same production set up as over there. And what we might try there as well is uh, can we manage to uh, hmm. I was wondering but that would be this set up here and um, can we manage to get around without long-handed inserters because that gives us the possibility to speed things up we will see we will see but first let's finish this square here the redesign is ready and it gets a bit more uh, convoluted with uh, additional chests because the issue here is that uh, rail lines are too wide so they can only be placed on every other tile. So as long as we have an even number of tiles between rail lines, that works out well. But we don't, or we did not with uh, the setup here, because we have three there, then three for the factory itself for the assembly machine and then we would need more which is nine and nine is not an even number so what I did here is basically instead of directly adding the ingredients into the machine uh, add it from the side uh, so we can uh, save one space here on the uh, vertical thing which brings the lines one tile closer and we can have it like that and luckily uh, horizontally we had enough space so uh, we can could pull the machines uh, from each other. This however will not work if we have more than one ingredients but seeing this setup I even see further improvement because now we could basically take the whole thing move that down to basically right next to uh, to this line and then copy the whole thing over mirror it and have it at the top again because you can see here we have wide open space and here we have wide open space so we probably would manage to fit that in twice but now let's see uh, and uh, have this one uh, going to to the iron plate 
delivery. One uh, item count larger than 2000. 2000. So we will empty it by half. Then go to iron plate delivery two empty cargo right and then we have this one here uh, we will do the same thing for this one item count 2000 And then empty cargo. I'm not with item count. I am never sure uh, about the uh, right setting here, but I guess uh, we will see um, once we have that and. There we have only the two trains that are actually parked. And then these trains... Um, they are going... They will have to go to there. And we see we get the, the, the items out. But I want to first uh, let all of the metal and gear uh, finish here uh, before we uh, set up the, the routes for this train. And Currently, we only have one train needing gears, uh, the one for Red Science. Um, so, I think... Um, for this one... Um, we shall have this lower one named for red science and then we can have the upper one for something different and then this one will be two for red science uh, because uh, it's important uh, that we get here the the correct number of items uh, in there so we want in total 2000 so that's 1000 and on the on the first one and 2000 on the second one so this one is fully loaded and uh, we shall actually see in the next episode how we uh, proceed with this one and hopefully we make uh, then also a step closer to the green science until then goodbye